Terminal 3, and today we're flying a JetBlue A320 to Atlanta. So let's head to the terminal and get checked in. And welcome into Terminal 3. This is where JetBlue operates from, as well as American Airlines and Azul. Right over here is JetBlue's check in area. There are a lot of the Central America flights and the West Coast flights checking in right now. They usually have the nighttime flights, so all the customers could be at their place first thing in the morning. Today we're on JetBlue Flight 568 to Atlanta, boarding at gate F7, so let's head over now. Alright, we're now past security and we're going to gate F7. This area right here in Terminal 3 is somewhat like a delta because it splits to three areas, Concourse E, F, and G. So let's head over to the gate now. And here is our gate for today, F7. Very crowded today, as you can see. Right out here is our plane for today, November 789 Juliet Bravo. It's an Airbus A320, 12 years old, serial number 04612. It came in just a few minutes ago from White Plains, New York. This right here is our boarding area for today. For a Monday night, this terminal is very crowded. I'm really surprised. Alright, we're boarding now for Atlanta. And welcome aboard the A320. Hi. How are you? Our seat today is 21F. Alright, let's do a seat tour. First we have this IFE screen, it's a touch screen, and in my past experiences it's worked great. So that's a starter. Uh, we got a very nice, sturdy tray table, could be moved. Right here we have our seat back pocket with a safety card, a puke bag, and a menu. Two cup holders. A nice leather seat back here, and an adjustable headrest. and our window. As you can see, we are right above the cargo door today. But here's a nice view of the wing, so that's great. When JetBlue tells you they have the best legroom in coach, they're not lying to you. They have great legroom here. Your larger bag will the overhead bin with the wheels of the handles facing out. Once you find your seat, go ahead and step into your row clear the house goes behind you. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Welcome aboard. 
as you can see right here, this leg room is perfect. I have so much space. This right here is our wing view for today. Like I said, the captain has informed us we should have some smooth air when we first get up in the air, but after that it's going to be quite bumpy on the way down. So we would like to serve everybody. Just take a look at that seat back menu card. Thank you. Service up to Atlanta, Georgia. The other way here in just a couple minutes from third one today. Flying time one hour, 25 minutes. Up at 35,000 feet. Uh, first half of the flight should be pretty good. Uh, there is a bunch of significant uh, rain activity moving into the Atlanta area, and that's going to make for some uh, bumps in the descent and our approach. So uh, once you do turn that seatbelt sign back on, please do remain seated with your seatbelts fastened for your safety as well as those around you. Uh, latest weather in Atlanta, uh, they've got gusty winds out of the east, pretty good visibility, uh, overcast skies, temperature 45 degrees. Certainly it's our pleasure to have you along with us this evening, sit back, relax, enjoy the JetBlue experience. Thanks again and welcome aboard. This flight's quite empty today. Boarding doors now shut and we're getting ready to leave. Flight number 568 with service to Atlanta. My name is Dylan. It's my absolute pleasure to be flying with Kelly up front, Chanel, Big Kevin, and Matthew in the back. Our captain's name is Sean, followed by First Officer Timothy, and our estimated flight time today is a quick one hour and 27 minutes. Your safety is always our number one priority, so please give us your attention while we walk you through this plane's safety features. Please follow along with the safety information card in your seat back pocket. Federal law requires you to follow all landing information signs, posted placards, and especially crew member instructions. Pull out the blue strap to tighten to release with the top flap of the muzzle. Please keep your seatbelt fast and lower tight across your lap, even when the seatbelt sign is off, and have your seatbelt visible to the crew at all times. It's on both sides. Do not impede the fleet your best inside the plane. A locator light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in water. Take a moment out of case you your closest exit. Remember, it might be behind you. If there is a change in cabin pressure for oxygen, mass will drop from overhead. Firmly pull a mask to reduce stop the flow of oxygen. Remove any face covering. Place the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic band around and tighten using the straps on both sides. If you have any questions about this plane, safety features, don't hesitate to ask. We'll be coming down the aisle for one last check. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. Seatback is upright, tray tables stowed, and all carrying items are put away. This plane has two restrooms this evening, one in the front and one in the back. Infant chin tables can be found in the forward restroom and the restroom in the back. Please keep in mind that making calls of any type while in flight is not allowed. This includes the voice calls, video calls with mobile apps, Wi-Fi calling, or the use of video conferences services. We'll be adjusting main cabin lights for departure if you need this green light above your seat. I want to thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoyed the JetBlue experience.
So what we had to do just now is go to flyfy.com on Google or Safari, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now we just have to watch an ad and it, it should connect us. Oh, how nice of them. We get to choose. I'll do Peacock. First thing. Battleship, Sudoku, and Trivia. Let's see what this is. Oh, we got Live Direct TV too. Let's see, here's a lot of kids' things as well. Not as big of a selection, but there's still a lot of stuff. Games. They have Battleship. But in addition to that, JetBlue also has podcasts, it looks like. All their destinations, Washington, Savannah, Reno, Providence, Orlando, Palm Springs, Phoenix, New Orleans, Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta. Atlanta, let's check that out. We're going to Atlanta. I won't listen to it right now, but here's like the stuff they talk about. Uh, it's named for King George, Fort, uh, Fulton County. Early history of Atlanta, uh, Ponte de Leon ballpark, music scenes of Atlanta, uh, March to Sea steps off, and Atlanta, a city in a forest. I didn't know JetBlue went to Dallas Fort Worth, that's cool to know. But the most important part is the map. Let's see the map. a little bit to low, but that's okay. Alright, now we're on the map, but as you can see right here, the flight data has to be accessed. 
it seems like there's a bit of a glitch with that on this flight. As you can see, it doesn't show us where we're going or stuff like that. Let's check out. Yeah, they didn't put that in. But something interesting right here is the plane's nickname, which is What's Blue and White and Flies All. It's a clever nickname. I like it. All right, so today we got a bit different travel and tradition. We got the lime flavor bubbly here. JetBlue's IV system is that now on the loading screen they put pictures slash videos of all their different destinations. There have been a lot of Boston, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and Los Angeles on this flight, but on every flight it could vary. Right now we're cruising at 33,000 feet. Uh, we're over Orlando currently, uh, nearing the Space Coast out to the east. It's a very bumpy flight today, but you know, Travel Man loves those bumps. Another great thing about JetBlue's IFE system is that you can divide everything you see into subcategories. You can learn about FlyFi, Peacock, you can find movies for flights shorter than two hours, longer than two hours, HBO, audio tour guides, route maps, different types of things, comedies, dramas, all that, surveys, games, and much more. Uh, JetBlue is the best IFE system in my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. Alrighty, normally as you all know I show a lot of things outside of the window, but there's just nothing to see, it's pitch black sky, but I'll show you where we are. Right now we're in the northern Florida area nearing Jacksonville. We should be landing in Atlanta in 35 minutes. We've already passed a halfway point of the flight. We're at 33,000 feet. Uh, weather in Atlanta is pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, it's very stormy. This big airport right here is Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta Airport. And we have to go through all this precipitation, so it's going to be a very bumpy ride today. But you know what? It's worth it. It's JetBlue. They make everything great. A lot of people haven't even gone on their IFV screens this flight because it's very late. Everybody's just mainly sleeping. And just like that, with beautiful pitch black skies, we've started our initial descent into Atlanta and we'll be landing in 20 minutes. It's now time for the Travel Man Rates, Flight Edition. The factors that are taken into account for this rating are the seat, the food, the in-flight entertainment, and the service. First, the seat. The seats on this flight were perfect. The pitch was perfect, the recline was perfect, everything was perfect, perfect, perfect. JetBlue has made tremendous efforts to upgrade their seats in the past and have done a spectacular job every single time. Each seat on JetBlue's Phase 2 retrofitted aircraft, which is what we flew today, has in-seat power, a personal in-flight entertainment screen, which is a touch screen by the way, great recline, great legroom, and a nice leather seat with an adjustable headrest. The seat has everything a person could want for flights even longer than this, like those to Europe and South America. Without a doubt, the seat earned a 5 out of 5. Next, the food. Food options on this flight were great. They offered plantain chips, popcorners, potato chips, chocolates, candies, cheese, so much stuff. They also had a wide selection of beverages. Everything on JetBlue is complimentary, with the exception of cocktails, beer, wine, or snack boxes. For the fares JetBlue offers, it's definitely worth it to choose them for your travels, especially if you're looking for a great flight on a low-cost carrier. 5 out of 5 for the food. Next, we have the in-flight entertainment. JetBlue remains my favorite airline in terms of IFE. They have the top system in my opinion. The screen on my flight was perfectly responsive and had great settings features as well. 
If you want to filter the types of movies you get, go right ahead. If you crazy parents want to put parental controls on your child's screen, knock yourself out. If you want your screen on a certain brightness, go right ahead. If you want your home monitor setup to be in Spanish instead, adelante. JetBlue offers hundreds of TV shows and movies as well as live TV. Instead of the boring blue home screen on your monitor like you had before when you were boarding or if you just didn't turn your screen on yet, JetBlue now has clips of their destinations on a loop, which I find kind of interesting. You could also access flight trackers and menus through the IFE screen. In addition to that, you also have FlyFi, JetBlue's version of, you guessed it, Wi-Fi. It's completely free and works extremely well. So, 5 out of 5 for the IFE. Finally, the service. The crew on this flight was stupendous. And for me to say stupendous, a word I never use, you really know they were great. They were constantly through the cabin, ensuring everyone was comfortable and safe on this really bumpy flight, and made sure to get us all fed and taken care of in a quick time. They also offered pillows and blankets to guarantee that extra level of comfort. When they saw my camera, they were really interested, and asked me a bit about it. They also subscribed to my channel. So if y'all are watching this, thank you for making my night. One thing that makes everyone's day a bit better is a smile. And even though it was very late and they were probably exhausted, they made sure to give you that one last smile as you deplaned. This crew earned a 5 out of 5. So, with all that said, JetBlue's A320 service from Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta earned a 20 out of 20. This was probably my favorite flight on JetBlue, and I hope they let it stay the same. Now, enjoy the rest of our really bumpy ride into the ATL. to Atlanta. And you have a welcome to Atlanta. The local time is 11.05 p.m. For your safety, please remain seated with those seatbelts fastened and carry-on items put away. Until we arrived at the gate, the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. We have one opening overhead bits as items do tend to ship during flight. If you have received this is claim at gate, you may pick up your items outside the front boarding door. If you need any assistance getting off the plane, feel free to remain seated after you arrive at the gate, so it may better assist you. For information on, information on connecting flights and have that claim, you check your airport monitors or download our free JetBlue mobile app. Visit JetBlue.com to learn about our JetBlue Wild program when you can earn points on all of your flights on today's flight. On behalf of everybody must be seated at this time. We are on an active taxiway. Everybody must be seated at this time. We are on an active taxiway. For information on connecting flights and back lanes, may check out our monitor download our free JetBlue mobile app. Visit JetBlue.com to learn about our loyalty program. We can earn points on all the flights, starting with today's flight on behalf of us here at JetBlue, especially this Fort Lauderdale base crew. I want to thank you for flying with us today. For those of you from the Atlanta area, we would like to be the first to say welcome home. Budget. 
Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Have a good night. You too. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everybody. We had a great flight with JetBlue today. Flight attendants were awesome. Everything was great. There was not one bad thing except for the weather, and that's not their fault. Everybody and welcome to Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson Airport, gate E34. This terminal's a ghost town. It looks like our flight's the last one out of here today. From what I'm told, JetBlue and Delta share a terminal. Delta basically owns this airport. They rule this place. Alright everybody, and that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Welcome to Atlanta. Our plane's headed over to LaGuardia next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.